will now begin building a position servo indexer program with these follow along labs. These build upon each other. It is recommended you do these labs in sequence. We will examine a typical basic pick and place application. The following slides will list the individual actions the sample program performs. First, the axis will be homed to determine the absolute zero position. An output, output 1, will then be turned on to simulate actuating a pneumatic valve to extend the gripper arm. After the gripper arm is fully extended, another output, output 2, will turn on to simulate triggering of a pneumatic gripper. The first output will then be turned off to retract the pneumatic arm to pick up the part. The axis will then move to the place location. Once at the place location, the first output will turn on again to extend the pneumatic arm. The second output will then be turned off to release the gripper. Having placed the part, the first output will turn off again to retract the pneumatic arm. And then finally, the axis will return to the pick location, completing the cycle. We will now work on the program. First, we need to select parameters from the navigation tree, set the drive mode to position, and then set the reference to internal. Next, select digital I.O. from the navigation tree and set the enable switch function to inhibit as the indexer program will be using logic to enable and disable the drive. We will now import the pick and place demo program from the MVOB documentation CD. If you have not yet done so, please install the MVOB documentation CD to the default install location on your PC. Once done, select indexer program from MVOB's navigation tree, select the import button as shown, then browse to the C colon Lenza AC Tech backslash MVOB backslash programming examples folder, and finally double click on the pick and place program. Now click the load with source button to compile the program and load it to your drive. Click the step button to step through a line of the indexer code. Notice as you continue to click the button, the double arrows will transition down the program in the green column to indicate what line of code will solve next. Note that lines with a semicolon are comments and are not solved. When you step through a wait statement, the double arrow line marker will disappear until the code is satisfied. For example, when wait until input A3 is stepped through, the double arrow line marker will disappear and will not reappear until input A3 is turned on. When wait time 1000 is stepped through, the double arrow line marker will disappear until the time period specified, 1000 milliseconds, is complete. After 1000 milliseconds passes, the double arrows will then reappear on the next line of code to denote that that will be solved next. So stepping through this program, we will see that the drive first waits for input A3 to turn on. That is the top switch on the test board from the Lens of Sales demo unit. The drive then enables, moves to absolute position zero with the move P0 line. Note, if your move is quite long, it's due to having the drive travel far from absolute position zero. You can see the current position at all times by viewing it in the monitor window. Monitor is the bottom selection of the navigation tree. Actual position A pause equals zero when the drive is powered up or when it is reset logically. For example, by rehoming the drive. Back to the program execution. You will see that output one is then turned on. Out one equals one. The drive then waits 1000 milliseconds before turning on output two. Out two equals one. The drive then waits another 1000 milliseconds, turns off output one, out one equals zero, and immediately moves to absolute position 100, move P 100. Once there, output one is turned on, the drive waits 1000 milliseconds, output two turns off, the drive turns output one off, and then the cycle repeats. The long initial move is imprecise and will not work on an actual machine. The axis requires homing. We will now add a homing routine to the indexer code. This shows the homing operation that we want to perform. We want to home to a switch to establish accurately and repeatably what the actual home position, a pause equals zero, is, as we will want to do this every time the axis is power cycled.
Edit your indexer code to include the new lines shown here. var underscore home underscore fast underscore vel equals 10. This sets the speed in revs per second for the first move towards the home sensor. var underscore home underscore slow underscore vel equals 1. This sets the speed in revs per second for the second move towards the home sensor. var underscore home underscore axel equals 100. This sets the acceleration value for all the homing routine moves. var underscore home underscore offset equals 0. This sets the distance to move from the home sensor for the zero position. var underscore home underscore switch underscore input equals 0. This selects which input to use for the home input. In this case, 0 is the A1 input. var underscore home underscore method equals 21. This selects which of position servos homing routine methods to use. Home. This starts the homing procedure. These lines of code will define a fast home velocity, a slow home velocity, a homing method, and will add the command to home after the drive enables but before the program loop. This will cause the drive to home whenever the indexer code is first started. Input A1 is the home switch used in this example. A1 is the top white push button on the test board for those with the Lens Sales demo unit. All homing methods are defined in the Position Servo Programming Manual in detail. Please note, the drive will only start solving the indexer program on power-up if the auto boot parameter is set to enable. To get to the auto boot parameter, select the parameter selection on the navigation tree and scroll down to the bottom of the window. Auto boot is the last parameter listed on the bottom of the parameter screen.